How's it going, fam? Anyone giving you trouble? Nah. Okay, okay, tough guy. Good to know. Oh, oh. hello. <laughs> Look a little young for the senior league, hmm? I keep all my gray hidden under the helmet. Hmm. Ah, good tip. Hi, kid. Hey, coach. Hmm. Aren't you supposed to stay away from, you know, death machine plans? This is no death machine, soldier. This is a machine of peace. To protect the people you love from Maligula. What do you call your peace machine? The Psycho Mech Battle Bot. Are you still gonna make that thing? Those penny pinchers cut it from the budget. Well, maybe that's a good thing? Yeah. Now I can make it without any official oversight. How are you gonna make it without money? Son, the less you know about it, the better. Um, yeah, no. Hey, don't you have an intern to take care of? She's on an important mission. I sent her out to get some nunya. What's nunya? Nunya business. <laughs> I saw Sam. And listen, I think she has some issues with animals. What? She's a bull. Bulls love animals. Um... I wouldn't eat those pancakes she's making. Eat them? No. We're using them as heat shield tiles for the psychomech, so it doesn't burn up on re-entry. Do you promise this isn't a plan to take over the world? Rasputin, that was the old me. Yeah. Like three days old. Anyway, with the money Forsyth's giving me, I couldn't take over this bar. What do you think the mole is? Oh, Sasha. 100%. What? I mean, that accent, right? It's weird. Where does it even come from? Coach, I don't think... Trust no one, Rasputin. No one. Are you nervous about Maligula? Let me put it this way. That mass murderer did come back. Who do you think she'd blame for what happened to her? Where would she come for revenge? Right here. I don't mean this bar, Raz. I mean the mother lobe. Well, I'll leave you to your plans. Plans that will save your life, soldier. lying around. Yep. Watch it. Hey, Ford. Shoes aren't ready yet. What you doing there? Trying to disinfect these bowling shoes. But I think I'm losing the fight. Never mind. Oh, I don't. Oh. Shouldn't you pay for it? Shoes aren't ready yet. Would you mind if I stepped inside your mind for a minute? Sure. 
Better than you stepping inside one of these shoes. I tell you, it's like Germ City in there. any brains in there. More than you got, Sonny. The end is coming! Oh, give it a rest, guy! Death is coming from above! Uh... Guy was right. All hail Guy the Prophet. If there's a piece of Ford's mind in here to reconnect, I'll bet it's up in that giant bowling pin head. Why didn't you go home, Sonny? Out of my way! I gotta get to that giant Ford head before the city is sanitized! Down by that ball polisher. A little help. We needs to fix that rail crane, and you're gonna help me, okay? What's that sound? Now we're cooking! Yeah, that ball is too slick to ride now. What you're up to, kid. You, this slime is so sticky. You know it. The kids love it. Do I know the best Gotta place to take you all on vacation thing. or what?
man, this thing's big. Jump here. that broken rail on the Kingpin Express before someone arrests me. If this stuff wasn't in the way, I'd totally be riding that sick half pipe. I need to fix that lane. Kingpin Express, I'm coming your way. Yeah, right. You're afraid. No, you're so brave. Why don't you do it? I'm going to. I'm just waiting for my muscles to warm up. The stuff! Now, let's lay some track! When the world gets destroyed, I want it to be perfect. Yes, we'll fix the key. 
Kingpin Express. Buddy, that ain't the Kingpin Express. That's the foul line. It'll take you across town, but you gotta transfer to the Kingpin. At this time of day, though, you're better off taking a cab. Thanks. What was that? Ooh, this one's pretty. Just keep out of my head, or you'll be sorry. How does it feel to have your mind... Hi! Break time's over, germs! some problems. Okay, when do it's a private matter? Oh, sorry. Enough. Now let's get to work.
next time I might not be here for you. Attention! Our beloved elevator now goes all the way to the top. No need to climb up there on your own. In summary, all is well in the world again. Uh, except, of course, that it's ending. Whew. You have a nickname for the elevator? Yeah, I, I call her Elle, cause, you know, she's touchy about her real name. Thinks Eleonora is too formal for the worksite. Oh, shush, it's a pretty name. Just wax the wood. No shoes on the leg. Those things are filthy. You'll make marks. Do it. Cross 
crossing the foul line. You better get out of here. Those germs aren't... I think the Scorg Lucretia romance was more serious than I realized. Hey, it's Ford and Lucy. Sorry! Didn't mean to ruin your date! I said. Here comes the big It's the spring. end of spring! This is the big one! Bring it so up. beautiful! Oh. Hey, bowlers aren't allowed in here. Now get for a spray here. Don't touch that. That's private. You and... you loved her? Her name is Lucretia, but I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Well, I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. <sighs> Rasputin. Agent Cruller, how do you feel? I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're going to have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself. I'm getting less sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. with the Deep Six treatment. I did what I had to do. I loved her after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand.
Lord, what's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. And we all were. Huh. <laughs> Not anymore. Whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family. Your grandparents, Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. With Maligula? She was defeated by the land. I snuck her away from the others and brought her back to the gulch. I put her in the Astro Bay, one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. And I used it to isolate and neutralize the part of her psyche that was... I need the purse tag here. But I knew the world would never forgive her. So I had to hide her somewhere safe. Oh no. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Accept Maligula? Yes. As your grandmother. No! <laughs> Let me go! Listen, Raz. I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma. And so you made us babysit her for 20 years? Now look it. You spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. 
probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonauts started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through. I can't leave now. They need my help here. Agent Cruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow. It's really all still here. The Great Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean... This is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmut Fulbert workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... where... This is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound? We got into some pretty far-out stuff here. I've read about... The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition. It's so vulnerable. Ah, war brought something out in her that... Should have been locked away. Maligula. After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolathe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Now you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. Well, I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Be right back, Nona. Away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here. I'm sensing some stray thoughts nearby. Definitely more of 
eso. Back the other way. Just a little farther. Yep. harmless to me, but that's probably how it gets you. where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here. I'm not touching that thing again until I get rid of this. This is where they sat! I can tell you are an intern, staff member, visitor, or intruder of great taste. Please use your purchases responsibly. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Oh, great. Bees, is that the real field mobile? Wow! This must be Helmet's Theater.
The fuel mobile needs a tune-up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. Wrong bees. Smoke get in your eyes. Yeah, bees. Smoke this. Oh. <laughs> Victory over bees. What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take the heat. someone put into my mind. Which means, there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding. Ford wants me to turn on the astrolathe, but it's covered in, well, really angry Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she?